What's going on, everyone? Welcome back. I hope everybody's having a great day. Folks, we're going to look at a Perseverance photo today, and it's from Sal 178. A couple of the anomalies stand right out. You don't have to do anything to the photo, and I'm going to show you those. And then a lot of other items, you actually have to burn around these so-called rocks and find out they're not rocks at all. They're actually more debris. Let's suppose we find like a red brick, and all you see is the corner of it sticking out of the quote-unquote sand. The second you stop burning around it, because it may have lighter censoring on it, meaning manipulation and overlay, whatever it may be, the second you start to burn just a hair bit on it, you see the whole brick come out. Really interesting. You guys are going to like this. All right, so without further ado, let's just jump right into it, shall we? All right, you can find the photo right here. You can see the download. It's a 1288 by 979, and it is a PNG. Not the best photos, but still not bad, right? In the description, it says, NASA's Mars Perseverance rover acquired this image using its onboard right navigation cam, or the nav cam. The camera is located high on the rover's mask and aids in driving. And you can see it right here. It was uh, acquired on August 20th of 21. All right, so let's just jump right into Photoshop, and let's check this out. Here is the photo right here. We blew it up a little bit. This was the original size. Blew that up. Now, let me just show you a couple of things that just stand out. Like this on the right-hand side. You don't see it too much right at this moment, but you will. Right here. You can see it's black in color right here. And it looks to be like it may be hollow. And what you're seeing is opening right there where that half round circle is. And you can see where it's actually buried supposedly in the sand. But is it sand? We're going to find out in a little bit. The other item is on the left. Now, check this out. This item right here. This reminded me. And look at it closely. I'll go ahead and zoom into it. Put it in the middle of the screen. Check that out. What does that remind you of? This is what it reminds me of. And you can see it right here going like this. Doing that there. And you can see it has one, two, three holes in it. And there's something over here. I don't know if there's like little designs or something to that effect. See, there's one darker piece there, and it has one, two, three. I'm not sure what to make of that. Like I said, it reminds me of this or this here, which is basically a lawn roller, right? That's what it reminds me of. Is it that? I'm not going to say that's what it is. I'm just saying, but that's the first thing that popped in my mind, either or of these items. Okay. But if you notice, there's actually more to it. There's something else right here. This thing appears to go like this. It might even go behind this object, and it looks like it's coming down. Looks like something right here, black in color, going like this here. You can see something right here. It looks like it's in an area that's cut out, like, not naturally. But you can see that. It's just crazy, this stuff you're going to find in here. You can see, like, different shapes over here, going like this here. It's the way it looks designed, and you'll see that. Pieces like this here on the left, not sure what to make of that. Something right here, and you can see it's almost cut off. It's like this here. Something round, but then it's cut off right here. You can see a line of it coming down where it cuts that piece off. Something right here. This right here, and again, you're going to see this in a lot better color, and we're going to try to pop this as much as we can. This here. Something right here. And folks, there's much more in here. See these blurry pots? Look at this. Okay. Now let's back out. It's all over the photo. That's the problem. All over here. All over here. Looks like there's hardly anything there. Don't let it fool you. There's much more in here. Something way in the background here. Check this out. Looks like it's doing this. It's going to shape like this here. This goes down, goes like this. This rock here, this is a very large rock. Right here. It, it appears to almost look flat here, but it's not. Now, don't get me wrong. I can't make out what it is, but look closely. There's much more on here than meets the eye. Straight line. That's going like this here. 
it looks like something coming up like this here. I'm not sure what to make of that. I'm doing this, going back. But there's some raised pieces on this rock, and it does not look natural. Okay, without further ado, let's get into the full enhanced. Let's get rid of the color. Let me show you the main things we were talking about. Right here. That's one. And again, we have this piece right here. I'm just going to go around it. This right here, I just showed you. We'll jump over to the other side right here. We've got this piece right here. Looks like this weird, like almost like opening going into this side. Looks like it has like an outer ring or some kind of design on it. Going like this, and it's kind of buried in this, whatever this is, that's surrounding it. And there's much more around that too, folks. Look at this funky looking rock. I love the way this thing does. It kind of looks like it's doing this just from the actual stock photo. This looks like it's slightly bigger here. Going like this. Folks, what is that? Come on. You know this is not natural. Back here. Like I said, there's something on this rock here. It almost looks like an opening to a something round. has this opening here at the end of it. Looks like it starts doing this, and then you don't see the rest of it. Okay? All right. Let's go in full enhancement right here. And, folks, I didn't even do the whole thing. You don't have to. Because this is what you're going to find. Get out your magnifiers, because you're going to want to use them. And I'm going to go into this photo. And just look at the stuff here. I'm going to circle a few things. I can't circle everything, because it'd be like circled everywhere. But the parts that do stick out, and like I was saying about this part here. Whatever this thing is, not sure what to make of that. We have this piece right here. Okay, we have what looks like a wheel. Like I said, it looks like a... Almost like a steamroller type thing. You can see it doing that there. Bounce to the other side on the right. We've got this item right here. Whatever that thing is, that cannot be natural. Bounce back over here. Again, look at all of these items, things laying on the ground. Okay. This section here, I'm not even sure what to make of that. This bottom here, check this out. Look at the shape of this. Okay. And that's only the small part of it that we're seeing. Looks like a triangle instead of a square type thing. There's something doing this. Appears to be something round right here. And you can see this going like this. I'm not sure what to make of this thing. Moving a little bit more so you guys can see that. Put it in the middle of the screen. But again, all of these pieces inside here. Pause it any way you want, folks. Have a look. Here's that part I was telling you about. It looks like a pipe, but it looks like they did what they could. The blurring right there. And you don't really get to see the whole thing. You're seeing like three quarters of it, right? You can see right where they fudged it out, the fudge line. But have a look. There is more to this thing. You have to do that, but I think this is the blur. That's not actually part of that. See that? Here. Here's a perfect example about what I was talking about, the different colors on objects. You can see something coming down like this here, and it goes to brown. Now, it appears it may be two different colors because you have like what looks like something silver doing this. And then you look on this side, you can see an outline 
of something, and it's got this brownish color. Now, a question comes into mind. Did they put these different colors in here purposely, or is it the result of using the burn tool on manipulation overlay? Look at the difference right here. You can see the, the blur, and you can just make out something half round right there, but the rest of it is under the blur, and you can see that. Check that out. Pretty clear line. The rest of it's under the blur. Folks, see that? You zoom in just a little bit more. Yeah, this is where they fool the eyes. This is what they love to do. They do it best. Check this out. Not sure what to make of that thing, but you can see something coming out of it. Cable, pipe, call it what you will. I'm not sure. There's no way to vet any of this, but that, again, is not natural. These items over here. Almost looks like a pipe there. Little piece right here. You see something doing this. I'll show you something else that's pretty cool too in the bottom here in a minute. This happens to kind of circle a few things. I'll let you guys decide what you think it is. Or can we even tell what any of this is? Frankly, I couldn't tell you what it is. I know it's not natural. I know it looks more intelligently made than it does natural. Notice this area right here. Very faintly, you can see this thing doing this. Going down like a roundish piece. This is going like this, going around this. Looks like a triangular piece inside here. Or it's just shadowing, one of the two. Notice how there's a little bit whiter piece just underneath this. Okay. Check this piece down here. There's actually two of them. Really weird looking rocks. Almost looks like, the first thing I thought of when I seen the front of this, this looked like, like a small windshield. This would be the nose. I said, that's the first impression I got. Like it's some kind of vehicle as opposed to a rock. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Have a look at that. That's pretty cool. Now, I'm not saying that's what it is, of course. However, when you look at this, even the black pot there, you got a question. Like, what is that? It looks kind of smooth, right? But there's more to it down here. You can see this down here. Not sure what to make of that. Whatever it may be. Put this back where it was. There we go. The other object is down here. I love these weird looking rocks that just have this artificial looking shape to it. Not sure what all this is on the side. Like that. This rock I was telling you about, now check it out. It's no longer flat. Like it shows here. But look at the lines in it. See that? The lines are there. It's not flat like they want you to think. Not by a long shot. Something else interesting in the back here. This right here. This area in the back. What I find interesting about this, it looks like it has two pieces like this here. Identical. Same size. You can see that right there. But have a look at the other shapes below it. And again, notice the color. This band of like almost like a light greenish, like an olive green. And then you come up to here, and it's more of a pinkish. Why? From what I can tell, this is the density of the manipulation and centering the putting over the original. This is the reason why you have these different colors when you try to apply a burn tool to this stuff. And that's what you get. 
I'm going to go from left to right. You guys can have a look. Pause it any way you like. Notice little pieces like this here. Look at the shape of that. Oh, there's small pieces. These small rocks here. Supposed rocks. Notice how it's got this little cutout, lighter piece right here. Yeah, what do you guys suppose that is? And we may never know what it is, right? Never, never know. And again, this piece right here. I don't believe for a moment these, these are all rocks. Not going to happen. I think they've been modified to look like rocks. As you can see, most of these things have been censored, so it does not surprise me. Like I said, folks, I see artificiality. I see what looks like intelligently made objects, things that are not naturally made. But as always, folks, give me your take on it. Like I said, folks, when I see stuff like this, I see debris, uh, junk pile, twisted metal in intelligently made objects. That's what I see. Drop your comments down below. Let me know what you think. And if you see something that I did not point out, leave a timestamp. This way everybody can check it out too. Please like and share the video. It is always appreciated. You guys know that. And don't forget to give the video a thumbs up so that YouTube will share it. Folks, got some more cool ones coming up. More moon. We have another Antarctica coming up. So stay tuned for that. Folks, thanks for watching. Always appreciated. And we'll see you in the next one. Peace.